bought these travel keys because I am a carry-on person and they have made it to Italy for 13 days. These things are amazing. They help you pack so much. So you get a few different sizes with your um, purchase. So I have a large one. You get a couple of the medium ones. I love that you can even put in what it has in it. So I just use computer paper, stick in my label. That way I know exactly. And then you get two little ones and you get something for your dirty clothes. And unlike some brands, this one's awesome because it's actually two bags. So say you have a wet swimsuit, you can stick it on this side and you could put your you know regular clothes that are dry in this side. Super simple. And now I'm gonna show you how much you can actually fit into one bag. So we are gonna get in a pair of snow pants. They are quite large. They are thick, they are fleece lined. We're gonna get that in. We're gonna get in my fleece lined coat. We're also gonna put in a pair of leggings, a t-shirt, and a beanie. Let's take a little finagling, but it's worth it so you don't have to check a bag. With the pants, I line them up into my bag and I want y'all to be able to see, it has like these little edges that you can kind of work with. And again, it is a work in progress. So we might have to work on it for a minute, but they are amazing. So I've got in my pants. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my light items in between. I'm gonna fold my t-shirt up. I try to make it about the same length and size of the cube. Same thing with my pair of leggings. Go right in. And now I'm gonna put my beanie in and it's time to add the coat. And I'm gonna try to make it the size of the cube. So I just kind of lay it on top, fold it over. Fold it over and fold on the top. All right, so here's the magic. You just start to zip it up. And I'll shove everything in. And say I need a little more room. Like this might not shut. There's a zipper down here. Open that up and we have all this extra room. So we can make sure we get it zipped. I like to kind of do at least one side and make it to the middle. And yes, somebody probably could do this better than me, but I hope I'm showing you what you could do at home or I'm making you feel really good because you could do it so much better than me. To the middle, you get so much in your bags. And now we're gonna make it smaller. So this is already a lot smaller than what it could be. But now we zip it. This is the compression magic. This is like the 20th or 21st century thing of a corset. It will work. Suck it in. Mm -hmm. If you squeeze it between your thighs, it usually works better. It might would make a video that had more views, but we're keeping it classy. And yes, some internet trolls will be like, was it really worth it? Yes, it was. <laughs> well, so this is super duper tight. I like to pack all of my like outfits. If I can, I'll do the first three days in one, then I'll do the next three days in another. That way I don't have to redo this each time because that can get old. If you didn't want to pack it as much as I just did, they're still great. They're still going to take up less room and you can put like all your jeans in one, put all your dresses in one and put all your tops in one, but you will have to reseal them. So that's why I like to do a big outfit at once or a couple outfits in one. So 